Hey what's up guys this is Oakley and we're going to be doing a quick video showing you how to use some of the features in Rome 2 that aren't readily apparent and that's going to be editing files to do different things. So the three things we're going to be covering in this video are one, it's going to be importing and exporting uh, battle replays. The second is going to be how to change your script files so that you can get the debug camera. And then third is going to be how to install mods without using the Steam Workshop. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. We're going to tackle the first two that I mentioned. So the first step is going to be just open up your uh, control panel. You're going to have to go to probably your C drive, any Windows that has basically this. And then you're going to go to Users. Once you're on users, um, it, it may be different for you, but for me, it's you just click on your personal user folder. The ones inside here, you're going to have to go on app data. Now, app data is going to be a folder that may be invisible. You're going to have to enable uh, hidden folders in order to get to this app data file. And then you're going to go on to roaming. Then you're going to go and scroll down and find the creative assembly. Click on that. Once you're in here, you can see you have the various games that may be available to you for you know, the Creative Assembly portfolio. For instance, right now we're going to be talking about Rome 2, but if you wanted to edit other files, obviously they're here. So here's Rome 2, go into that. And then these are the two things that we'll be covering today in this video, so the replays and then the scripts. So we're going to head and click on replays. So once you're in the replays, you get a whole list of all the replays that you have so far. This is a good way to go ahead and curate your replay files, uh, rename them, reorganize them, or delete them. And here you can also see they just come as files that are not super big, just, uh, you know, it depends on the length of it, but maybe, you know, 100 to 600 kilobytes, something like that. So you can copy these, upload them online, send them to someone, someone can download them. And then, um, or if you download them, you're going to take that file and then you're going to paste that file into here. Once you load up Rome 2, it's going to be right in your replays as whatever is saved here. And again, you can rename it. So that's a very cool way to be able to share replay battles with other people. Then what you're going to have to do is go back to the Rome 2 and instead of clicking on replays, you're going to click on scripts. This should be all that you see in the scripts file. Anyways, it's going to be the preferences.script. You're going to have to right click on this and then do edit. That's going to bring up the basically this huge script file. Actually not super big, but you're going to want to scroll through it. And specifically what we're dealing with right now is the default uh, debug camera. So go to the, where this line is. It's about, I don't know, a quarter of the way down. I've highlighted it here. And so there's three modes. Uh, it's zero for Total War, one for RDS, and two for debug camera. You're going to want to change this number right here and make it two. And then you have to do file save. Then next time you load up Rome 2, you're going to be able to play in debug camera, which means you can zoom out past the normal limits, really zoom underground and do all this stuff. It's great for battles because you can get a more tactical view and also for filming. Now we're going to go back to, you know, start back up at computers, C drive, and now instead of doing uh, users as we did before. Now we're going to be going into program files. So we're going to be heading towards installing my, uh, mods. So program files for me it's times 86. You may be for yours program files um, without the, the parentheses. Anyways, go into here and then you're going to want to find Steam. Go into that. Then in this folder hit Steam Apps. In Steam Apps go to Common. Total War Rome 2. Again you see you have access to other games in Steam. So go ahead and click on Total War Rome 2. Once you're in here, you're going to go on to data, and then in the data, this is what's going to be available. So already you can see a bunch of files in here, the different mods. Uh, so for example, here you can see some of the images that um, the mod creators gave for their mods. And this is going to be the stuff that pops up into your uh, Rome Total War mod manager. So before you launch your Total War game, you click on which mods you want activated. That um, manager is basically reading from what's here. So for instance, you know, when I got my Medieval 2 mo or Medieval uh, 1212 mod that I'll, you know, check that video out if you haven't seen it. But anyways, I went to Total War Center because I couldn't get it on the Steam Workshop. I went to Total War Center, downloaded the file. This is the file that I got. I placed it specifically in this folder. And then you have to do extract here, allow the files to be opened up. And then basically all you do is you go ahead and you start up Rome 2 and you go to the mod manager and then it'll pop up here amongst all your mods. And all you have to do is go ahead and put a check next to it play and it should work. So it's a very simple process. You just have to know where to look. Now it may be different for your computer. I'm not super big on knowing how to handle the different computer configurations, but it, it just requires a little bit of poking around. It should be similar to what I showed you. 
Otherwise, go ahead and Google your questions online. There's a lot of support online. This is just to help you guys see what you can do. And uh, yeah, I hope this helps you, helps enrich your Rome 2 experience and your Total War experience. Anyways, if you have any questions, post them below. I'll try and answer them. Otherwise, hopefully other people can jump in and help me answer those. So, see you guys next time. Peace out.